Hi, I'm Alex from Dassel at Drexel University. This project's objective was to develop an easy method for porting working simulation code to a real robot. The simulation environment, Robotics Lab, is a commercially available software used mostly for its dynamics engines, and the LEGO NXT was chosen as an experimental platform because of its general availability and ease of application. The hardware used is a LEGO NXT robot with two motors, a touch sensor, and a cheap webcam. The NXT and webcam were hooked to a MacBook Pro via USB 2.0. For the simulation, SimLab's Robotics Lab software was used in Windows XP to build the robot, environment, and run the simulation. The line following simulation was programmed in C++ using Robotics Lab libraries and Visual Studio. The real robot was also programmed in C++ using OpenCV to gather camera data. NXT++ and LibUSB libraries were used to communicate with the NXT. The code was written and compiled in Ubuntu 10.10 using gedit and gcc. In comparing the two courses, the simulation environment is much larger than the real environment, but the challenging features remain the same. At this scale, the difference in arc radius doesn't have much effect on the robot's ability to follow. The most demanding features are point turns, which maintain the same angles in the simulation and the real tests. For the simulation, the course was created using a SolidWorks VRML file, imported into and colorized in SimLab's R Builder. The real-world course was created on a lightly colored tile floor using medium-width black painter's tape. The code written in Visual Studio is mostly for the simulation. There is an inaccessible control loop which calls the functions for camera querying, line tracking, and motor command. Because of this structure, a new control loop had to be written for the NXT to perform these tasks. Using OpenCV, it was necessary to make sure that the camera data was fed to the line tracking algorithm in the same fashion as the simulation, so that the algorithm could remain unchanged. It has been found that without real-time control plugins provided at extra cost from SimLab, this approach is the only way to test code in SimLab's simulation environment and easily try it out on a real robot. The legwork involved in setting up the control loop initially is a one-time endeavor. Once the proper code is in place, the control algorithms can very easily be copied and pasted between the simulation and real robot codes. This method has been successfully used for multiple robots in our lab and with proper planning, can be used on virtually any type of autonomous system.